My name is Sue Wagner, and I've been working here for 22 years. Um, I'm mostly a pre-finished sander. I sand the necks, and I help out here in purling. So I'm learning this. In the last two years, I'm learning to help here. And it's always a learning process. <laughs> There's a lot to learn here. It's a challenge. It's not easy, but it's worth it. I mean, we have, for the standards we have for the quality of the instruments, we have to uh, really take our time and be careful, you know? So um, neck sanding is taking the, the raw neck, the raw wood, and, and smoothing it out and getting it prepared to have finish put on it. So you have to, uh, you have to keep it, you have to blend the fingerboard nice and smooth against the neck. You have to keep the shape of the neck so you don't misshape it. Um, we have different shapes to our necks uh, depending on the model of the guitars, so you have to uh, make sure you keep that shape and don't misshape it and um, get it smooth and prepared for finish, you know. So, and there's all different kinds, all different models, and uh, so it's interesting. It, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> it, it's, it's, but, uh, it's a neat job. There's very little room for error. I mean, you, you, you do your best to keep things as, mm -hmm. as nice as you can, you know, and it's tedious. You, you, you can't have anything on that wood. You can't have any scratches, any, any openings, any chip outs. It has to be smooth. It has to be right, you know. So we're constantly looking at it and making sure, mm -hmm. and you, you know. And as you get older, your eyesight isn't as <laughs> sharp, so, you know, I can take my glasses off. And, but, um, thing I'm most proud of is when it comes out exactly the way you need it to be um, it's not always easy I think that's what I like the most when something comes out really really nice and uh, the way you want it how things have changed over the years uh -huh. um, well they haven't changed a whole lot we still do most of the things by hand I mean there are some things that they do with CNC machines and automated equipment but mostly it's still done by hand like it always was, you know, most things, you know, mm -hmm. I would think, I mean, I, I don't look at them in a critical way, mm -hmm. I appreciate them when they're beautiful and when they're well made, you know, yeah. and, and I guess maybe this gives me more of an appreciation of that, you know, because we know what it takes to make something, to get a quality product. Yeah. Know?